Hey there, everyone, and welcome to another video. This is this week's horoscopes, July 8 through to 14. Yes, I'm a little late in getting these uploaded to YouTube, um, but better late than never, right? And so firstly, I would love to welcome all the new subscribers, uh, many new uh, faces here, thanks to my previous video about Algol and the Mars-Uranus conjunction that is forming next week. So these horoscopes are a little inspired uh, by this upcoming transit because uh, we do have a couple of activations to Uranus this week. So these horoscopes that I write is for an American publication and they're also shared across all my social medias and posted on my website weekly. So sometimes I put them on YouTube, trying to get a little bit more regular with that. So here we go. There is a um, just a general overview and then uh, short and sweet horoscopes for each of the 12 signs. There's time stamps as well if you just want to jump in and read your own. All right, so let's do this. Uh, you were born an original, so don't be a copy. That being said, we live in an age where you're expected to think the same things as everyone else because people are uncomfortable when you disagree with them. Just because I may be right doesn't mean that you are wrong. No one seems to want to ask questions or think beyond the constructive narrative. Just because a lie is continually repeated doesn't make it the truth. Just because there is chaos and disorder doesn't mean you need to get whipped up in it or think that because it appears that the majority are agreeing with it, it means it's right. The more insane things become, the more you need to be wary of the solutions they sell in order to reestablish order, calm, or peace. When you can remember that you are an original, you'll feel it in your bones just how uncomfortable it is to follow like a sheep. There are many opportunities in the pipeline where you can decide what you are available for and what you are not. The power of choice and the power of deciding is well empowering. So why would you not take it? Aries, do keep your cool this week, especially when it comes to making financial choices. Instead, you'll be better off just enjoying yourself and not thinking about things for a while. Have some fun, have a laugh, do something you enjoy. Sometimes the best way to solve a dilemma is to step away from it so you can get a fresh perspective. Worrying or getting anxious about something doesn't solve anything. Taurus, taking the necessary steps to do the things you know are good for you is now required. You're gearing up for some big changes. In the process, do keep your energy close to home. When you can get your focus back on what is important to you, stability, security, and your family or living situation, then you'll be better prepared to weather the changes that are on their way. In the meantime, a little bit of indulgence can improve your mood too. Gemini, not everyone is going to understand your point of view and what you're trying to express. You may need to ask yourself whether that even matters. With Jupiter in your sign, you're willing to expand into new ways of thinking and being, which can be challenging around which can be challenging to those around you who don't think at all. This is why they judge. This week, it really is a case of the more you know, the further you'll go, and don't let the naysayers hold you back. Cancer. Personally, I'm not a fan of the idea of treating yourself. It indicates that you're in a state of lack at other times while you're not indulging. This truly is contraindicated to the abundance you so deserve. It may be more helpful to ascertain what is a need and what is a want. You are always in a state of deserving all of your desires being met, but have you earned it? This week, take a moment to be aware of the difference. Leo, when it comes to your social circles and friends, both online and in real life, you're in for a very abundant and rewarding cycle. Do be sure to put your best foot forward and stretch yourself by attending events or opportunities to be seen in the right places by the right people. While it may sound a little superficial, optics do count. That said, don't waste your time with those who don't share similar philosophies to you or have a curious attitude. Virgo. 
It can be natural for you to look externally for answers, figuring out this, figuring out that. It's as if the more you fiddle and tinker, the more of a solution, the more a solution will magically appear. Well, that's not likely going to work this week. What you really need to do is keep your mind quiet. Focus on the thoughts that generate the feeling of the solution being available to you. Don't discount the fact you already have the answers you are seeking. Libra, life is about to get a whole lot brighter thanks to the movement of your guiding star, Venus. As she lights up your social circles, this is an opportunity to be seen in your best light, the chance to rub shoulders with those who can open doors for you or simply reconnect with the most special people will help you feel so much better. The hard work you've done and the whole old habits you've cleared are soon set to pay off. Scorpio, this isn't your week to lurk in the shadows or dwell in the dim corners. In fact, it's your time to be seen and heard. Sure, you may ruffle some feathers along the way. However, in some situations, you do have to choose between being happy in the skin you're in or harboring eventual resentment because you didn't honor your own needs. This week, speak up and take the necessary action or forever hold your peace. Sagittarius, everything works out so much better for you when you can keep your eyes on a distant horizon. Whether it's far-flung destinations or a long-term goal, you do need something to reach for, to aspire to. Your ability to do that is going to become so much easier in the upcoming days. All you need to do now is decide what it is you want and go for it. First, you need to decide that you've had enough of the current situation that's held you back. Capricorn, every now and then we have to go within and face our fears. It's not comfortable having to do that, but it's necessary in order to shed off the old layers that hold us back. This time last year, you went through a lot of that. While now you may be thinking, oh, this old chestnut, the fact is you already cracked it. Now it's just a case of tying off loose ends. You're stronger now than you ever were. Aquarius, while there is one part of you that may prefer to go underground, it would be wise to accept the support and generosity from those around you. In fact, relationships of all kinds are likely to be such a godsend now. Even if you're not really in the mood, if you can shift your focus from yourself and onto others, you'll be amazed by just how much better you'll feel. Allow the light of others to strengthen you. Pisces, just when you got used to relaxing a bit and having some fun, it's time to shift gears again. Maybe your health, wellness and fitness you need to be taken care of, or maybe it's your health, wealth and fitness you need to be taken care of. Perhaps you need to really be doubling down on work as a top priority. Whatever it is, do be sure to not burn the candles at both ends. Instead of saying to yourself, I have to, tell yourself, I get to, and life will feel so much more magical. So there you have it, friends. That uh, That's the horoscopes for the week. I hope you enjoy this week and there'll be more to come uh, in an upcoming video. Of course, I welcome your comments and suggestions. What would you like to learn more about in astrology uh, in this channel or on this channel, I should say. And of course, if you would like to uh, be a part of my membership community uh, where I go into all the secrets and all the transits of every month and give you a lot of tips, tricks and advice in uh, dealing with the astro weather as it happens each and every month uh, in a community, fun all the things. Um, I'll pop a link below. Uh, it's called the Golden Circle and it'd be great to see you on the inside. So until next time, I hope you have a really great week.